who does that or does that not refresh your recollection? Uh, regarding? You're saying he just got it wrong. You'd have to ask Trooper Proctor. You are n not portraying what the conversation was. You spoke extensively to Chris and Julie Albert, correct? What do you mean by extensively about this case? Is that what you're asking? Yes, Ms. McCabe, I'm asking about this case. Of course, I speak to them all the time about the vicious harassment we are all receiving. Yes. I realize you want to give additional answers and editorialize. I'm asking you very specific questions. Mm -hmm. Objection. Okay, so objection as to the form. We've talked about this at sidebar, Mr. Jackson. Um, you've talked to them about the details of that night, correct? The 28th going into the morning of the 29th? Yes. You've talked to them about what happened at the bar, correct? We've spoke about how we were all at the bar and Karen and John came in. Is that yes or no? Yes. Okay. You've spoken to them about uh, your, your memory of what happened at the house at 34 Fairview that night, correct? Yes. You've spoken to them about who was at the bar, not just what happened, but who was there, correct? Correct. You talked to them about the timing of the night, correct? I don't think specifically, no. When people came to the bar, when they left, when people got to Fairview, when they left Fairview, things of that nature. Well, they were at the bar, so they know who was there and when they left. And ask if you know what they know. I'm asking if you've ever spoken to them about these issues. Yes or no? I can't be sure if we've spoken about the timeline. Um, and you've talked to them about when they got there and when they left. I have no idea when they arrived at the waterfall. Once again, Ms. McCabe, that's not what my question was. Do you understand my question? Have uh, you spoken to them about their memory of that night and when they came left? May ah. Uh. They have not shared with me when they got. Speaking about it is very painful and difficult. What does extensively mean? More than twice? Well, you tell me. I'm asking the They handed over my phone. Oh, well, we'll get to that. Oh, okay. You know that your phone... I, that is not how I became aware. Would you like to explain it? Was I asked what she said? And do you want me to read to over 200 pages? I cannot recall. It's over 200 pages. There were multiple police officers and multiple EMTs present. So now this is another police officer and a different EMT. I'm not saying. Correct. And you went into that home before any of the officers went into the home. Is that right? Correct. You were allowed to have private conversations with Brian Albert? I woke Brian Albert up. Were you allowed to have private conversations with Brian Albert? Yes. And you were allowed to have private conversations with your sister, Nicole? Yes. And everyone was permitted to discuss the circumstances <laughs> of the evening before going into the early morning hours with each other with no police there, correct? I sat with my family in shock and horror. Were you allowed to discuss the circumstances of the night before going into the early morning hours amongst yourselves without any police presence? Yes or no? There was no reason for us to be allowed or not allowed. We did nothing wrong. I understand my question. Did you get it? Yes, I understand your question. Can you answer it, yes or no? Were you allowed that group of folks, mm -hmm. were you allowed to discuss the case without a police presence? He yeah. didn't really say much. He was able to listen to what you had to say? Again, you're creating a scene that didn't happen. Correct. On the phone, he asked, he wanted to speak with me. He said yes. So I wasn't aware. He asked to speak with me. I wasn't aware if he was going to speak with Matt. Okay. Uh, you were at least aware that you were going to be interviewed. Correct. You told Brian Albert... That Trooper Proctor was planning on interviewing you as well. Correct. <clears throat> on January 29th, if you look on page 2223, did you text the group, 
quote, Carrie talked to cops and kept it simple, end quote. Yes. It became, it's become a habit for you to keep tabs on Carrie Roberts, isn't it? Objection. Sustained. <clears throat> to this tight group, Nicole, Brian Albert, your husband, how Carrie's doing in her stories to the police, aren't you? Over and over and over. I am telling them what is going on. I wouldn't say it. Well, let's count them. What did you see and where did you see it, correct? Yes. Are we putting words in your mouth? No. They told you what to say at that time? No. And you told Trooper Proctor that when you arrived at the scene, after you got there, you, quote, first observed the vehicle, meaning Miss Reed's SUV, parked on the street by the driveway facing the direction of Chapman. Correct? Can I, do you have something I can look at to refresh my memory? Sure. I hit him. I hit him. Was I asked what she said? 